This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to install Windows 7. Now, I'll be using Oracle VM VirtualBox, but it's the same procedure with when you're using your regular CD or your bootable USB drive. Now, for the Oracle VM VirtualBox method, you'll be needing an ISO, in this case, Windows 7. So, the first thing you'd want to do is to launch your VM VirtualBox. Now, VM VirtualBox simply enables you to run several OSs on your Windows PC without without having to partition or sideload them. So you just run your XP, Windows 8, Linux, Ubuntu, Backtrack, and the rest as applications on your Windows without having to sideload. So it's very easy for you to manage multiple OS's on your Windows PC. Alright, so the first thing you'd want to do in Oracle VM is to create a new profile for your OS. So in this case, I'll type in Windows 7, Microsoft Windows, Windows 7 32-bit. Next. Here you'd want to allocate a reasonable RAM. It's very important not to over allocate RAM because if you over allocate RAM then this virtual box will be competing with your regular Windows processes which would cause lagging and crashing. So in this case I will just allocate one gigabyte for RAM. Alright, I think create a virtual hard drive now. I click create VDI virtual box disk image next. Now this part is basically requesting you to select how you wish your new OS to be allocated storage space. Now if you select dynamic, it means your new OS will take out space from your hard disk, that's your regular, your normal Windows hard disk, whenever it needs storage. But if you, if you select fixed, that means you allocate a particular size a particular um, storage section of your hard disk for the virtual OS. I would usually go for fixed because I don't want some OS somewhere to keep consuming my hard disk space whenever it needs more space. So here we allocate the size of the storage space I'll just allocate 20 gigabytes since I don't intend to do much I don't intend to this is just a tutorial so I'll just allocate 20 gigabytes so I click create now this part could be a bit time consuming because basically depends on how large your storage allocation is here I selected 20 gigabytes so it shouldn't be shouldn't take too long so while I'm waiting for this to be completed, let me run you through the basic installation procedure for a regular Windows. Now usually when you want to install your Windows 7 using your CD or your USB drive, you'd want to make sure they are inserted into the PC, then you shut down the PC, then boot the PC. Now when you boot the PC, you should normally be prompted to tap any key to boot from usb or dvd drive if you do not get this prompt then what you'd want to do is to boot into bios by tapping f10 on boot and in bios you need to change your boot order so that your cd or dvd drive and usb port will be above your hard drive that way whenever you boot your pc Windows will first check DVD drive and USB port first before it begins to look at your hard disk. So that is really a way for you to run the Windows setup wizard.
now we have this so the next thing you want to do is to highlight the window 7 in this case and click start all right so this is equivalent to us inserting the usb or cd on a pc so here i'll just click on this folder icon and i select my windows 7 iso here click on open and click on start so this is equivalent to me booting my pc with my windows cd inside or the bootable flash in there Okay, let me resize this so you can have a clear view. Okay, we have Windows loading files. Let me resize this. Okay. Okay, I think we are good to go. All right. Starting Windows. So from this point, it's practically the same thing, whether you're using your bootable flash drive, your bootable CD or DVD, or you're using virtual box. It's the same procedure from this point. Size this once again. All right, so you should have a clear view. Okay, so from this point we proceed. Now, language to install English: time and currency format English United States keyboard or input layout US. I click next. I click install now. Setup is starting. So you just need to follow this wizard carefully all right what you have here is a list of possible OS you can install I'll just stick Windows 7 ultimate 32 bit I accept next now you must have come across or heard people saying they wish to format their pcs now you don't format your laptop by right clicking on c drive and clicking format that is not going to work this is basically where the formatting happens now if you wish to format your pc in this case you just click drive options or better still let's let me put it this way if you already have some files in your os prior to this installation after this installation all files all your files from your previous os will go to a folder in c drive called windows.old that is if you go ahead with this installation without formatting now you might ask you you, you might have a list of drives here listed here and you doing your own installation so your question might be which do you select well the rule of thumb is you should go for the one that has the, the option that has the highest total size here you should go for the option if you have more than one item you should go for the one that has the highest total size and if you have more than one with almost the same total size consider the one with the largest free space that's the rule of thumb so if you continue with installation by clicking next all files from your current os will be moved to a folder named windows or old Although you might lose your, you definitely will lose your installed applications, but all your files will move to Windows or old. Now, if you wish to format, all you need to do is click Drive Options here, select the item or the the partition, and you click Format. That is all you need to do if you wish to format. All right, so I click Next here. Since I'm not going to format, I just go ahead with normal installation. So I just click Next. Alright, this is where the installation proper now begins. This part could be time consuming, so you just need to sit back and let it finish. It's very important you do not interrupt this process. So, if 
you don't have sufficient charge ensure your, your laptop is charging at this point or if you are operating if you are installing without electricity make sure you have enough battery on your laptop before you attempt this particular phase so you need to just be patient and wait for it to be completed it's very important you do not interrupt this process you are at seven percent and during this process the piece is going to reboot quite a number of times it's very important you do not interact with the pc do not select any option do not click anything just let it reboot all by itself and complete the process all by itself so we are at 98 percent now 99 percent okay expanding windows files is complete now we should move on to installing features installing updates and completing installation okay installing features is complete installing updates okay that's also complete So complete installation now at this point do not interact with the pc do not select an option do not click a thing just let it reboot all by itself okay let me drag this so you can have a clear view have starting windows it's very important do not interact with your pc do not click a thing here So the PC is rebooting, it's very important not to interrupt, just let it complete the process all by itself. Alright, so setup is preparing computer for first use. It's so at this point we are going to be following the setup wizard. alright we've reached configuration stage so what you need to do is just enter your PC details at this particular stage so for a username password Alright, then I click next. When I put out key, I can ask it to automatically activate Windows when I'm online. I can leave this blank. I can always enter it later. Next. 
this recommended settings now here you select your time zone for me i'll select central african time which is a gmt of plus one west central africa and then i click next here you can just decide to make it a home network and wait for it to apply necessary settings Windows is finalizing settings. All right, we are at the final stage. Preparing your desktop. This part could take quite some time because this is your first use of a desktop, so it could take a little time to prepare a desktop. So basically, this is just the procedure you need to follow to install your Windows 7, and it's of course the same method with the Windows 8, and to an extent XP and Vista. So we'll stand by for a confirmation of our desktop then we confirm that we are complete all right so we have our desktop here here we are all right so we have our windows 7 setup we are good to go